time of Jesus. Okay. We continue doing excavations. So what we see in here, for example, this is the Byzantine, this is the pool from the time of Jesus. All this area from here, this is one pool. So we're talking about around the two and a half duna, maybe acre, less than acre. It's a huge. How many people can purify themselves there? A hundred, thousands. Why? Because in the festival of Jerusalem, 2,500. 300,000, 100,000 people came to Jerusalem. They need to purify themselves. They need to go to the temple. They need, they need it. So you need a place for them. Without temple, no reason to have that kind of pool. But if you have the temple, you must have that pool. It's going together. And the connection between them through the pilgrimage road. So this is the pool, okay? And this is the Byzantine one, you remember? The Byzantine from the Queen of Dokia, five century, from that moment, they're all going there and worshiping there. 2004, they start to understand this is wrong. This is the reality. Why? Because they found, we found finding that we can dating that by the finding. Okay, continue. This is the Byzantine pool. You can see it here. Okay, continue, continue. And this is the courtyard in the, uh, in the north side of the pool. All original, 2,000 years old. Limestone. So beautiful to build it. And then what did we decide? We decide, okay, if we have a pool and we have the courtyard, let's start to do excavation to connect the pool with the temple. And we start to do it, okay? And this is what we found in 2000. Uh, this is the coin that we found in the pool. And this is what we call the, from the first century BC, the Hashmonaim coin. This is what we call Wildo, Wildo Mine, Wildo Mind, Wildo's Mine, Wildo, Wildo Mines, Wildo Mines. Okay, the Wido. The widow and the mine. Mines. Mites, it's a penny. The widow and the penny. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> okay, sorry, I'm Israeli. What can I do? Uh, I can speak Hebrew. <laughs> English a little bit, you know? A little bit, not so, but a little bit. Okay, here we can see uh, uh, this coin. This is the original. Okay, and uh, continue, please. Here we can see another coins from the revolution against the Roman from 66 to 73. This all found there. We found more than a, a 1,000 coin. Okay, we'll see some of the finding that we found there also. Here we can see a pillar. And on that pillar, what we have, continue, inscription. You see the inscription? Hebrew inscription. And this, this is what's happening, you know. Today there's a lot of political around the land of Israel, around Jerusalem, around the Temple Mount. This is the truth. No one can say this is not Hebrew. So who is written Hebrew in Jerusalem? What, the Muslim? The Arab? Okay, the Palestinian? Who was there? Which the history that connected to this town? Why this town is so important for the Jewish and the, and the Christian? Why? Why did this place is important? Why, why you came to Jerusalem as you're traveling? And, and I would say that in that way, why, why Abraham came to Jerusalem, to Mount Moriah? Why, why David choosing this place to build his capital? Why Jesus came to Jerusalem? Why? Because this place already choosing by God to be his place. Because the presence of God is there. The spirit of God is there. In the holy of the holy of the temple. The connection with God is there. I want to go to Jerusalem to connect with God. To be close to God. Of course, God is everywhere. But the spirit of God and the presence of God is there. Because he is choosing this place. I am coming to the place that he is choosing for us. And this is important of Jerusalem. The connection. 
I just give you a little bit story about, you know, you heard about the 10 tribe that disappear from the kingdom of Israel. Why did the 10th tribe disappear? What the reason the 10th tribe disappear? Why? Because Jeroboam, the son of Nebad, built for them a golden calf. And they was worshiping the golden calf. So if you're worshiping the golden calf, wherever you go in the world, you can build a golden calf and you're worshiping him. So you're forgetting where he came from. From, from the other end, from the kingdom of Judah, when they left Jerusalem, the Babylon destroyed, they always remember, we need to go back to Zion. We need to go back to, the, to, to Jerusalem. We need to be, be, go back to be close to God, the Spirit of God. This is the connection with God. When you have an idol, you don't have a connection. You can do whatever you want all over the world. You can put uh, Zeus and Aphrodite and uh, I don't know, whatever you want. And you're worshiping and that's it. You don't have a connection. Here, we must have a connection. This is the place when God chooses for us. Okay, it's very, very important. Okay, continue. Here we can see construction. We're walking. We're building. And, and, and we found here, continue. We found here. You see, this is part of the Byzantine church, and below it, this is the courtyard. Okay? Continue, please. Look what it looks like. A huge courtyard from one side to the other side of the pool. And from this courtyard, we start to found the street that takes the people to the temple. Let's go. Continue. This is the first steps that taking the people to the temple before 2,000 years ago. Go wash your face in the pool of Siloam. No problem. I'm starting to walk. Which way? That way. Going to walk to the pool of Siloam, washing my face. And the high priest going to the pool of Siloam to what? To take the water. In the festival of the water, they put it on the altar. Which way going? This way. Just which way going? This way. The blind way, which way it's going? This way. Uh, all the other, which way? This way. Just amazing. This is it. You can walk on net, even today. You can get the experience. Continue, please. Continue. Continue, please. This is the Western Wall, and this is the continuation of the street, of the pilgrimage road. Here. Go down this way. To the pool of Salam, continue. <clears throat> Here we can see this I found 2007. Look how perfect is it. So you have a small stairs and you have a big one. Big one, small one. Why? Because when you go into the house of the Lord, you're not running. You the small step and then you rest one, two, another steps. One, two, another step. Slowly, slowly, I'm going to the house of the Lord. I'm not running. I'm not running. This is not the uh, movie, no Rocky movie that he ran away on the stairs, you know, in Philadelphia there. I'm not running. I'm walking. I am singing songs. I am happy. I'm not going to find against anyone. This is it. This is the festival. And now we have a festival, Passover festival. Going to the temple, that's of the Lord. We have the priestly prayer, just from the book of Numbers. It's, it's huge. Okay, here the continuation, you see what it looks like. Another one, another one. Here we can see the street, another one. Look what it looks like. And when I get here, they told me to stop. And when they told me to stop, I said, why? I, need to, I want to continue to see what's going on. And then, no, 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 you can go to another place. Okay, the another area and start there from the beginning, from the dirt, from the top. So if I'm starting from the top, who said that I'm going to found anything? Okay, we'll talk about that. I told you there's a lot of miracle here. They told me, stop, you cannot do all the kind of stuff. I said, no problem, no problem. We will see, we will see. You're blind, not me. Okay, let's go. This 2009, continue. Continue. And here we found in, on the street, coin. This is the coin before you clean it. Okay? Continue, please. This is a wait, because you're on the street. People buying stuff. 
So you can see how they make it by stone, limestone, and you can see here the metal. There's a lead. Why the lead? They put the lead in the stone. Why? When you cut the lead, you, you have the exact weight. Okay? It's very, very clever. Okay, continue. What does this look like? What does this look like? No, what does this look like? Like a pen. Okay? Stylus. What do you call it? Stylus? Stylus. Stylus. Beautiful. Okay. Continue, please. This is for making ceramic. Because you're on the street, you need to buy food, you need to eat. Okay, you take a bowl made by ceramic, eating. This is the life of the people. They're not coming in the, fe the day of the festival. They're coming a few days before, one week, two weeks before, the camping, they're going eating, going here, going there. The festival, a lot of food around. They're going to eat the last supper or what we call it is Passover dinner. Fantastic, continue. It's a stopper, small stopper. You put it in the jar. Beautiful, made by limestone. This different kind of jar that we found. And this is what this look like. This is a dice. This is one dice made by bones. You just over the Easter. Am I right? What the Roman soldier did. We found the dice in the excavation? Yes. You can small detail. Make the, the story true. Because I didn't saw the Roman soldier playing, but I know that they have a dice. And when the Bible talks about the dice, this is the true. Okay? Beautiful. Perfect. What is this? I know that in, in, in Montana you have a lot of stuff like that. The cowboy and here and there. I just learned to, to, that you to, I want to tell you something. If you think that all started in Montana, you're wrong. So this is from the Holy Land, from Jerusalem. Someone made his, from a bone, this is bones. You, you saw something like that made by bones? No. Think about that, how beautiful is it? Maybe some lady, I don't know. Okay. Heroin, fighting war in Jerusalem. Okay, continue. And now we're going to the tunnel below the street. You remember that I told you that they stopped me and they told me, go another place. And I start from nothing, going down. Okay, continue. And what I found, you can see how much dirt I need to take off. All this, all this, a lot, a lot of this. See the ladder here. How much dirt I need to take off? And what I found, this line of stone here, there's a small channel, and this line of stone here, it's a big channel. So I found that small channel, and I go inside, and then I'm falling to drain a channel that was built below the street. Let's see. This is what it looks like. And this is connected me all the way to the Pool of Salam. You remember what they did to me? Oh, you cannot do that project here. Let, let's I will take you to the same place. There is nothing there. Miracle. <laughs> Founding the Pool of Salam, miracle. I wasn't there. I came just because I want to take a photo. Found it. Another miracle. Okay? Just beautiful. Continue. Look what it looks like. Drainage channel. This is meteor. This three feet. Take all this up and top. We're talking about seven feet, eight feet of channel. And the wide is three feet, meter. Just amazing. Okay, continue. Yes, please. And this is the manhole from the, from the channel. You see the manhole that came from the street. So the stop in one way. The open door, God opened the door for in the other way. Just imagine, continue. <clears throat> There's another manhole. Yes, please. And this is a coin that we found in the channel. This is what we call a shekel. So it's mean if you have a shekel, this is for two persons. 
And this is very, very interesting. It's a shekel from Tyra. This is from the time of Jesus. In Jerusalem, they found in the excavation, not in the market, in the excavation, they found seven, eight. I found two of them in the channel. This is in the channel. And from where this coin came from? So we have different kind of options. For example, it's falling from the, from the, you know, someone walking on the street. It's falling from his pocket, and he lose his his coin, and he start to cry because I can pay the taxes to the temple. From but from the other hand, it can come from the turned table. Who turned the table? The change of money. Who knows? I don't know. I am just an archaeologist. I wasn't in that time seeing what's happening. Okay, just beautiful uh, coin, silver coin. Okay, yes, sir. Huh? What? Oh, this is this is this is uh, some uh, some. Uh, this is from Tyra. It means some of the kings of Tyra. I need I need to go specific inside to read the inscription there. If you turn, if you make the second second, uh, picture, you can see here the eagle, and you can see the inscription here. Okay, so this go back in the beginning, the end of the first century, beginning of the first century A.D. I need to look, to look a little bit on my paper because this was in 2009. I, I don't, I, sorry, I'm not forgetting what I did last night. So. What can? But it's 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 from the time of Jesus, and they use it in the time of Jesus. Okay, continue, please. This is a cooking pot, and Josephus Plavius. You heard that name? Josephus Plavius was a historian. He was the commander of the galley. Josephus Plavius of Plavius Josephus. He was the commander of the Galilee. He was taken by the Roman in Yotfat. And then what he do? It he, he was going. He was in Jerusalem, but he was also going to Rome with the Caesar Aspasianus and his son Titus, and was reading a book. And in his book, the Jewish war against the Roman, he talking about the Jewish people was hiding in the tunnels. That time that we saw, I found a lot of finding there. Uh, this cooking pot was using by the people and eating when they eating a food in the tunnels. Think about that, you know, I'm here, I have my freedom, I'm not afraid from anyone, I'm an archaeologist, I'm a Jewish, I'm touching someone that was in the tunnel before 2000 years ago because he's hiding from the Roman, he was eating in the same cooking pot that we found. Another picture, you see the oil lamp. And he was lighting that and going with the oil lamp in the tunnel because it's dark. Just amazing. Okay, continue, please. Again, this is the Western Wall. And what's happening after we are doing the excavation, there's a lot of story. I told you there's a lot of miracle. I will tell you another miracle. When we did the excavation there, and, and uh, we had a problem with the, our neighborhood there. It was Arab, Palestinian people that don't want us to do the excavation. Of course, they don't want us to prove Okay, so they go to the Supreme Court. And when they go to the Supreme Court, you know, the time that when the Supreme Court had the decision, we had the missing of the tunnel. Someone destroyed the tunnel in the ancient time. And we start to build a steel construction tunnel. And the day that the, the, the Supreme Court gave us some decision, we found the continuation of the tunnel. Then no one can say the tunnel did continue. So after a while, they give us the permission to continue. This is not a miracle. Miracle. Hallelujah. What's going on? Of course. It's not adventure. It's miracle because the God wants us to get that for the people, to get that experience. The people can go walking. They speak about the Bible. They speak about that. They're talking about that. They see the history. This is it. Okay. Continue, please. This is the team that was in this area in the time of uh, before 100 years ago. We talk about Charles Warren team. It was a British came to Jerusalem, did excavation, and this is his team in the tunnels. Continue, please. 
here we can see another person from this team continue continue please continue and here in 2011 i get there you remember when we started 2007 2011 i am close to the western wall i did it with a lot of problem on the way but we did it okay let's go okay continue please we can see the tunnel here in 2011 you see the arches above us just beautiful from the first century and then we can see continue please see how it's look like the drainage channel beautiful you can walk on it you can all walk through it on the pilgrimage road on the tunnels from the pool of Salaam. i'm going to the house of the lord everyone can do it to get the experience walking on the same stone okay continue and and between we found this finding and this is what we call the golden bell the golden bell was on the robe of the high priest mentioned in the book of uh, exodus 28 talking about the official dress and the pomegranate and golden bell and pomegranate and golden bell inside and and all that kind of story this is one of the golden bell of the high priest you must understand that this is the only finding that we have today that was in the temple before 2000 years ago that we can say this 100 percent was there because it was on the robe of the high priest it's going inside into the temple and this was also one of my finding all what we saw it's part of my excavation I'm not talking about Jerusalem during the other archaeology excavation. This is my excavation. I direct all that, all that, all that excavation, fit by fit. This was my project. Okay, continue. 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 Another one. And here I'm holding the, oh, I'm holding the golden bell in my hand when we found it. And this was in the temple. By the window of the holy. And I, it's my hand. Remember, I have uh, I touched something that touching very amazing. I'm um, right? Yes, you want to shake my hand? Uh, yes. Just a moment. Okay. Okay. Okay, yes, yes, ma'am, yes, please. First, we're talking about the time. We're dating that to the 2000 years old, to the time of Jesus, okay? Think that way. Does anyone in the town of Jerusalem can go with the golden bell? That this is the official dress of the high priest? That say, I'm going with the golden bell in Jerusalem? They immediately will kill him. Well, you're not the high priest. Think about before 200, 300 years ago, you put the crown of the king of England on your head. What did they do to you? They hang you immediately. Why, you're the king? Because this is official dress. It's belong to the king or this belongs to the high priest. You cannot play with that. Okay, please. Here we can see another finding that I found in the excavation, a graffiti of menorah on a stone. And you must understand, someone saw the menorah in the temple. It threw it to the, make the graffiti, threw it on the dirt. 2000 later, I found it. Think, there's any scenario that this is going to happen in the world that a Jewish before 2000 years ago threw it away and the Jewish after 2000 years ago found it. This is not miracle. Okay, continue, please. This is a Roman sword, the, the only Roman sword that we found in Jerusalem that connected to the war between the, the Jewish who found it in the drainage channel. Just amazing one. Okay, and this is token. That token with inscription, and that inscription say, pure to God. I am pure to God. I am going to worship in God in the temple. 
when you're going to the worshiping God in the temple, you're not just going and say, I purify myself, let me go. No, you must show us the token. You purify yourself? You sure? Let's see. Okay? And this is part of what's happening in the temple before 2000 years ago. Another picture. And this is 2011. This is the end of the 19th century. 2011, uh, the end of the 19th century. Two pictures. I came from the Pool of Salam. He came from the surface. And we, we did the connection with the Pool of Salam. You see the arch here, you see the arch here, you see the builder here, you see the builder there. And this is just a beautiful picture to show you this is what's happening before. And this is how we connected together with the pool before in 2011. Please. This is Jerusalem. If you're talking about the Temple Mount, take off the mosque there, put the temple there. This is the temple, this is the pilgrimage road. You remember the pool and the pilgrimage road take you all the way to the temple. Today you can come here to visiting here and walking all the way that way to the temple. Southern wall, southern steps, and this is the city of David, and this is Jerusalem before 2000 years ago. Just amazing now that all happening when? When I heard the bulldozers squash in the stone. And then it was a lot of miracle on the way. That today that you get that experience walking from the pool to the temple like it was before 2,000 years ago. And we are very close to the festival that the Jewish were going to the temple. And it's just amazing. Please, thank you. And this is the last. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> <clears throat> there's a, there's any question please yes please i know there's a lot of as i told you youtube and seeing that the same here the same there from my experience as the archaeologist that excavated this area more than 20 years the temple on mount moriah all the other ideas, it's not true, from my point of view, no. Okay? Yes, ma'am. You must understand, when think about, we have Jerusalem, the Roman destroyed. When the Roman destroyed, everything falling. Okay, falling and then covering everything. So by the year, it start to fill up, fill up. Another. People coming, building another place, moving the dirt, another layer, another layer, and then the dirt started coming up. And then what are you doing when you're doing excavation? You start from the late all the way to the early. This is what you're doing. And this this is not just in Jerusalem. In other a site, archaeology site, this is what's happening. The first one, destroying, 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 different reason, and then you have the layer like a cake. Okay? Yes, sir. You remove it. You throw it away. What we will do with the dirt? What are you doing when you do a project? What are you doing with the dirt? Yeah, this is what we did. <laughs> okay, yes, ma'am. To water? Which property? Okay. What, if I test the water? No, the water is not good for testing. What? I don't understand that question. Sorry. Analyze the water. What we have in the water? Hallelujah. <laughs> Say, what we have in the water? Analyze. I don't know. 
I think I think I think uh, they did it. They, they have a lot of research about that. But it's a uh, water that came from the rain, you know, and going through the limestone. So it's the same like you have. To, but today, it's the water. It's not good for drinking. It's good for it's good for walking through it and things like that. No problem. They're checking the water all the time. All the time they're checking the water. In the ancient time, of course, it was using for drinking, for purification, all that kind of things. Sorry about that. Yes, sir. Right now, I'm uh, I'm working on publication of my excavation, and I am I am look. It was more than t close to 30 years. I'm doing excavation. So when doing excavation, you playing with the dirt, you taking the dirt, you find pottery, you find, and you talking with the stone. Because what you found is stone and dirt and here and there. I'm talking with the stone. So close to 30 years, I'm talking with the stone. And after that, I say, no, no, no more. I want to talk with the people. So now I'm uh, guiding, uh, not like, it's not a guiding. It's more being with the people that came to the Israel to get the experience of the Bible. I want to give you the connection with the Bible, the connection to the land in different way. So this is what I'm doing today. And this is what I'm doing now, guiding people, but in the way of the Bible to give them the experience. We are not a tourist. It's not a tourist tour. It's something different. Something that I want you to connect it to the Bible through the finding. And this is the importance. And this is what I'm doing, publication, and I'm doing that kind of stuff. And uh, yeah, this is, uh, you know, over 50, you need to do something else in your life. I'm, I'm too old, but can I say? Okay, <laughs> another question. Yes, ma'am. To pull to what? It's no big deal because the water always coming from the spring. So if they excavate everything, you must understand that when talking about the pool with the stairs, this pool was built in the in the first century AD, first century BC when the Roman destroyed. No one used the pool anymore as a pool for purification for for purification. So you don't need the stairs. So they start to build there a reservoir water pool. So what they did, they destroy part of it. I don't know what they're going to do in the future. They now they're doing, they continue doing excavation there, and I hope that they will open it. I don't know how much they can can uh, they will do, but they, 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 this is it. So I don't know, but it's very 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 quick because the water running all the time and start to fill up, and then you have another chance take the extra water outside from the from the pool. Any question? Yeah. What? Timothy, you challenge me now? Okay. So what we found also, we found a, uh, we found uh, around the Gihon Spring, we found a, uh, a uh, bulla as an inscription. That's the name on that inscription, the name of Bethlehem in the first temple period. Again, what are we talking about? What is that name? It's important. Because that name go back to the first temple period. It go back to the kingdom of Judah, to the King David family. And we know that all Jesus' story started from King David family. This is a reality? Yes. The city is a reality? Yes. How we can move and understand. And this is the way how we can connect it, what the Bible said, through the f small finding. Okay? Yes. Okay. What advice I have? Don't be blind. Open your eyes all the time. And and I just want to tell you, and this is from my experience. When you're doing excavation, you don't know what you're going to find. 
it's mean if you found something important, it means that God bless you to find it. So tell her to open her eyes. Of course, to study and to do all what you need to do, the exam, to study, to understand, to read the Bible. So don't just take archaeologists. Take archaeology with the Jewish history in the ancient time. It means study the Bible with the finding, with the archaeology together. So you can make more sense what you're finding, how you get to understand the Bible through the, through the finding. It's very, very important. This is what I'm saying a lot of time. Don't tell her that if she's going to, to do archaeology study, she's going to prove the Bible. Archaeologists never proven the Bible. I'm doing excavation to understand the field. If I am something that I can prove the Bible, like the Pool of Salaam, like the other, it's fantastically beautiful. But from the beginning, I'm not going to say, I'm going to prove the Bible. If I'm not finding, so what I'm saying, the Bible is not true? This. So, you believe the Bible? You don't need the archaeology for you believe, to prove it, and when you found something, it's better. Okay, we good? So now if anyone wants to shake my hand, no problem. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you very much for inviting me here. Oh, <laughs> thank you, thank you, please, sir. Come on, were you guys blessed tonight? Cool. Well, I do want to take an offering uh, for Ellie, um, for him and, and all that he has done and all that he is doing. It's such a blessing for this guy to come halfway around the world and just to share this with us. And uh, I hope that it has blessed you and we have an opportunity to bless him back. And so there's going to be a bucket in the back. Um, you can make your checks out to EHC, and uh, everything that comes will go directly to him and then some more because we want to bless him as well for, for spending some time with us. And uh, I'm going to be honest, it's a lot better than I thought. It was awesome, man. <laughs> I got a kick out of this. This is really cool. Um, so thank you so much, uh, Ellie, for coming and, and blessing us in, in Missoula. And uh, it was great to see you guys. So um, with that, we'll see you guys later. Thanks so much.